Hello my sweet friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia. This is Simba and together we love making wreaths. In today's video I'm going to be doing a shelf liner wreath. Now I ran into Dollar Tree the other day and I got a hold of some black shelf liner. I'm going to mix it a little bit with the ivory that I already have and we're going to make a wreath for my dad with the sign I found, guess where? Yeah at the Dollar Tree and it's a fishing sign. So perfect for my dad. It'll be nice for his garage or wherever he wants to put it. With that being said, let's get started on our wreath. Right Simba? Let's go over the supplies for this wreath. You're going to need four different rolls of shelf liner from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to be using one that's 12 inches in width and 72 inches in length. As I'm recording the intro, Simba came, said smack in the middle of my supplies, and is now purring because he is just so happy to be here. As I was saying, when it comes to the shelf liner from the Dollar Tree, sometimes it does come in 12 inches by 60 inches, so keep that in mind. But for a standard 14 inch wreath form, you should be fine using four of these. I have one already cut up from a previous wreath that I did. So I'm going to use two ivories and two of the black shelf liner rolls. I'm also going to be using some of this mesh ribbon and the best part about it is it kind of looks like coral in a way or seaweed because of the way it is netted. So this would be perfect for this wreath. For decor, I'm going to be using some of these coastal picks. These are the ones I got last year. Look at this one, it has a little seahorse. And since we're doing a little fishing wreath, this would work perfect with that. For the sign, I'm going to be using this hooked for life fishing one, but Dollar Tree also has one for cars, for garage, those kinds of themes. And I think it's about time they got something like this in. Next, you're going to need some zip ties. I'm also going to use some floral wire, crocodile hole punch, and Mod Podge. For the base of the wreath, I'm going to be using a metal 14 inch wreath form. Using a metal sign, the best way to attach is using some floral wire and making some holes. Since both of the holes are on top, I'm going to make some at the bottom using my little crocodile. If you guys hear jingling, that's Simba. And I'm going to go as far to the edge as I can. There's my first one. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I have two right here, two on top. Now I'm going to put one layer of Mod Podge on the sign. Now why in the world am I putting some Mod Podge on a metal sign? Well, it is Dollar Tree, you guys. And while they printed nicely on top, they did not seal the actual image. So I had a hard time finding a sign that wasn't scratched up. Therefore, I'm going to put a layer of Mod Podge to seal everything in so I don't have to worry about the sign scratching. If you are going to use one of these signs, they do have a white little edge on them. Definitely put Mod Podge on there because they will scratch there too. Next, I have these little button stickers. They're about half an inch in width and I'm going to paint four of these black using plain acrylic paint and give it a layer of black. Did I mention how much I love making these wreaths? I mean, they are so fun, so quick. After finding the center of my shelf liner, I'm just going to put my nail right on there and I'm going to cut it with my scissors. That's right. These are not that hard to cut. Look at this, my friends. You have a nice smooth cut to even sides. I'm going to put one to the side and I'm going to work with the other. Folding my shelf liner in half, I'm going to find the center and cut it. Then I'm going to take this one fourth and 
cut that in half once more. When you get to a piece that's 18 inches, what you want to do is cut it into three. So you can definitely just measure it off. And I just do it right there. As you can see, it fills that square nicely. And you can either use a rotary cutter or scissors just like this. While we need many pieces, this wreath still goes really, really quickly. Same thing with the other piece. This piece is 18 inches and I'm going to get it down to six by six pieces by folding it in three. When you are going to be done cutting up one shelf liner roll that is 12 by 72 inches in length, you are going to get 24 pieces. Sometimes when I don't feel like using scissors to cut the shelf liner, I will just get my roller cutter, get my six by six piece, and just start cutting. Super quick, super easy. The next one, there you go. And there is our last six by six piece. My first roll is all cut up. I have 24 pieces. Now I'm going to cut up the rest of my shelf liners. Next, I'm going to grab the mesh ribbon and I'm going to cut it into seven inch strips. The reason I'm doing that is because I want the mesh to stick out a little bit. If you are using a ribbon for this part, same thing, I would go seven inches so it sticks out a little bit higher than your shelf liner. I have everything ready to get started on this wreath. I'm going to be putting the black little bows on row three and the ivory ones on row two. Then you're going to continue zigzagging black ivory, black ivory, and the little ribbon that I have is going to go on every other black one. The reason for that is when the bows are together, they're going to be too congested to go on every single one. So we're going to do it every other on the outside row. Starting with the black one, I'm going to grab my shelf liner square. Then I'm going to grab a little ribbon and I'm going to collect it right in the center. After that, grabbing a little zip tie and I'm going to attach it to row three. Grabbing my flat end pliers, I'm going to cut the little tail and we have our first little bow, so sweet. Let me get the tag off too at the same time. Once I have my first bow on, I like to put the zip tie on before I make the bow. It's just easier to attach. So I have my ivory little bow and just gather it in the center. If you aren't sure that your zip tie is in the center, you can always gather your bow on both sides, give it a little tug, make sure you're in the center, then tighten that center up and cut the tail. Next zip tie is going to go on row three, gather in the center. Here is the set that I showed you before we started and I have black on the outside, ivory on the inside, and the mesh ribbon being attached every other black little bow. I'm going to go ahead and repeat this process until I filled in my first section. All right, my friends, section one is done. There's not too much green, but you can definitely see the green in the wreath. It is absolutely beautiful. Now let's break down the numbers. Since each shelf liner is going to give us 24 pieces, multiply that by four rolls, that's going to give us 96 six by six little squares of the shelf liner. Divide that by the six, that's how you're going to get 16, and it's going to be perfect amount of the shelf liners for this wreath. So not bad since we only need four of these little rolls. I'm halfway done putting on my little shelf liner bows. 
I think the combo of the ivory, the black, and the little green looks so beautiful together. And now I'm just going to finish up this side and we can start decorating. And here is what the wreath looks like after all the shelf liner little bows are on. I love the transition of the ivory onto the black with the green in between. And look how it looks with the sign. It is going to look beautiful. So the next thing we want to do is we want to get some floral wire and attach it to the four little holes on the sign. I'm using a 22 gauge wire and I'm cutting about 14 inch little pieces going through each little hole. I'm just twisting them in the back of the sign. Putting the sign in the center, let's flip. I'm attaching all the wire signs on row two intersection at four points of the wreath. Two twists each. Now I'm just seeing how I like the wreath. If the sign is the way I want it to be and it looks really good to me. The next thing I'm going to do is attach the coastal picks and I picked two, they were the same shades but different ones because I didn't want two of the same ones like two seahorses on both sides. I don't know, I just thought it would look a little odd. So I'm going to turn this bottom part in and same thing on this side, grabbing my floral wire. I'm going to first attach at this little angle part and then I am going to move up a little bit to get some of this top part secured. My floral wire is connected to my little coastal pick or my seaweed. I am just going to work it in, lock the pick in place. This tail of the pick, I'm going to wrap it around one of my rings because I want to make sure that it's stable. Hide the little ending and open it up. This looks really, really good. Now I'm going to grab this pick and do the same thing. Next, I'm just going to secure all the wires from the sign since I know the sign is in a good place. We have one more step to finish in the front, but let's do the back. I'm going to see where my top is and we want to make sure we attach a hanging loop. So I'm going to go on row three from the center or row two from the outside. And my jute cord came from the sign. I'm going to make a loop or two. And then I'm going to make sure that the loop does not come out to the back. It comes out to the front because we are going to put a little placement to cover the back. Grabbing three more zip ties, I'm going to attach the placement in a triangle format. So after attaching the first zip tie, I just draw an imaginary triangle and that is where I attach the other two. And I'm attaching to the outermost row of the wreath form. Cutting off the tails and then sending the little tip to the back so we have a nice and smooth backing. And the last one. For a final step, I'm going to grab those black buttons and I'm going to hot glue them, even though they are little stickers, but I want to make sure they stay well to the four corners where I have my wires attached. This is going to hide the holes and hide the wire a little bit. I absolutely love how this fishing shelf liner wreath came out and it's using all Dollar Tree supplies except for the zip ties and my floral wire, both of which you can also get at the Dollar Tree. This is a great wreath for the fishermen in your life and I hope my dad's going to love it. I hope you enjoyed this wreath and I just wanted to mention that I absolutely 
love making shelf liner wreaths because they last and last and last and you can put stuff on them they're not scared of being uh, wrinkled or anything like that it's a heavy duty wreath that will last for years and years to come with that being said don't forget to say hello in the comments below and i will see you in my next video bye guys Simba, say bye bye Oh, you were a little late on that, but it works. Bye, guys.